But Squash Army, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm so excited. Boom. Once again, Tilted Towers is no more. I mean, it was fun while it lasted, right? Well, it didn't exactly catch us by surprise, did it? I mean, Epic has a long track record of just blowing up Tilted, but this also isn't the first POI we've seen destroyed during our long three chapter history in Fortnite. You know, so sit back, man, and we're going to just take you guys on a trip down memory lane as we explore some of these past POIs that have seen themselves get demolished. But before we do, it's time to get some of my favorite candy what is it y'all it's that bunch of crunch yo let's get this going all right, so let's start off with this list with a proper bang by going all the way back to chapter one, season four. All right, we all remember the hype behind the meteor crashes, right? Well, back then, players were excited when warnings pointed towards a potential onslaught of meteors hitting the island. No one really knew would result from this. However, one thing was for certain. These things were coming down and they were coming down hard. This was when the destruction of Tilted Towers became a pretty well-known meme. Signs were pointing towards a much bigger meteor hitting Tilted and players were anxious to see if the prediction came true. This event saw the destruction of the prison POI when a meteor made landfall destroying the center of the POI and leaving a crater. The same thing would also happen to Dusty Depot which was partially destroyed by the blast. Eventually though, Tilted Towers did see some damage when the main office building was struck by a meteor and destroyed. Perhaps this was the moment Tilted became doomed to an endless cycle of destruction. You know with so many POI changes over the years, you're going to need a way to exploit the new meta for all it's worth. I mean so click the link below and visit ProGuys.com for some pro level coaching learn new strats and optimize your drops so that you can be the first to get your hands on game winning loot no matter how the map changes all right, in chapter two, season six, we got hit with Primal. The Bounty Hunter saga was over and the new season of the Foundation arrived on the island and met up with Jonesy. What followed was a series of spires popping up all over the island as new Primal POIs such as Bony Burbs appeared. The main spire acted as a centerpiece for the map. However, once that season ran its course, that centerpiece would become unrooted when the island was invaded by an alien race. With the start of season seven invasion, we were treated to a few new biomes, but not many changes to the Fortnite map itself. However, one major change was staring us right in the face and that was the destruction of the main spire. During the opening cinematic for season 7, we watched helplessly as the spire is abducted and destroyed by the mothership, sending the foundation plummeting to the bottom of the sea. From this point on, you could still visit the center of the map. However, instead of the spire, we were now treated to an empty crater simply known as the aftermath. This crater would later be filled during the final season, but we're going to talk about that in a bit. Who here remembers the flood? Well, whew, we sure do. Back in chapter two, we got to dive a little deeper into the overarching storyline of Battle Royale. With the introduction of fan favorite character Midas, we witnessed how he attempted to bring an end to Fortnite by pushing back the storm. While this seemed to have worked momentarily, the Zero Point had a will of its own and soon after came a giant tsunami that washed away much of the island. With chapter two, season three, we were able to play on a completely submerged island. Land was hard to come by and it affected many pies such as weeping woods and craggy cliffs, dirty docks, and risky reels. All these POI faced damages caused by the sudden flood of water. However, one POI got the short end of the stick as it was completely submerged beneath the ocean. And I'm of course talking about Slurpy Swamps. Slurpy Swamps was removed as the main POI during the season. However, it was just still very much present in the island. If you were to turn back to its location, you would actually be able to see the very tip of the POI sticking out as a single chest. Luckily, as the season went on, the waters began to recede. And with that, the island and began to return back to normal. Chapter 2 Season 3 was a pretty short season by Fortnite standards. However, it was pretty interesting to see the island go under such a drastic change. I mean, who knows? Perhaps we're going to see something as neat as this in the future. Now it's time for the question of the day. All right, what's your favorite POI? What would you like to see make a comeback in a future update? Put your responses down below. Alright, so during the final event of Chapter 2 Season 7, the alien invasion was thwarted in what could only be described as a pretty exciting action-oriented in-game event. We got aboard the mothership with bombs only to discover that it was hiding an even more sinister threat. I'm talking about the cubes. Soon, the mothership was completely destroyed by the explosions and sent plummeting down to the Earth. Perhaps this could also be considered a destroyed POI. I don't know. What do you think? As we plummeted down towards the island, we witnessed as debris landed all over the place, seemingly destroying multiple POI. While this might have sounded exciting, the debris didn't exactly topple any POI in any significant ways. With the arrival of cubes, they and their queen were set to invade the island and, you know, there was only so much time to prepare. With the monsters on the loose and the sideways consuming entire POIs, another strange event began to unfold. Purple cubes that had crash landed all over the island began to converge towards the location of the original spire from season six. 
This incident also attracted the original Q, aka Kevin, from its slumber at Steamy's Fats. Doing so caused the partial destruction of the POI with an entire wing completely demolished by Kevin's exit. Later, Kevin would go on to rejoin his brethren, but not before leaving behind a small message to the players in the aftermath. For this next piece of destruction, things are about to get hot. Fortnite fans all over have been begging for a volcanic biome to return to the scene and hopefully we're going to get some of that sweet magma covering the island during a future update. However, let's take a moment to look back at the past to a time where a volcano did exist on the island and it wiped out a few POI during the stay. During Chapter 1 Season 8, players experienced an evolting event. Here we witness a volcanic eruption that split Polar Peak in two and caused massive damage down below. During this event, magma completely flowed through retail road, destroying everything in his path. Interestingly enough, one victim of the volcanic eruption was Tilted Towers. Onlookers watched as the magma rocks descended from the sky and slowly decimated all but one building of the POI. It was a sad day for anybody that loved dropping Tilted, but it was a sight to see. The Season 7 Invasion event was a pretty destructive event, especially for Corny Crops, which could be renamed Corny Complex. During this season, we saw the island invaded by aliens as we used UFOs and IO weaponry in the fight for the Victory Royale. Holly Hedges was one of the POI that was changed as the aliens began to take control. This became Holly Hatchery, and with it came whole new alien parasites that sprouted all over the island in eggs. However, there was one POI that saw itself completely uprooted during this event, and that was Corny Complex. Complex. Corny Complex was an interesting POI which presented itself as a farm. Secretly though, it housed a covert IO operation. Here Dr. Sloan could be found and defeating her would reward you with a powerful weaponry. This was a great spot for sniping players at a distance, but all that changed when the aliens completely uprooted the POI from the ground and caused it to levitate in the air. From here on out, Corny Complex would remain suspended till the end of the season with some sweet zero gravity to spice things up. Corny Complex would be replaced once more by Corny crops, presumably due to the bombs that were planted beneath the POI as it got abducted, a demolished during Operation Skyfire. So before we wrap things up today, don't forget to visit ProGuys.com for pro level coaching. Come in from any skill level and you're going to come out one step closer towards Pro Dome. All right, so with all that said, this season has been a pretty destructive event. We've had major additions to every POI, such as blimps being added only to be destroyed as the seven managed to take back territory during their fight against the IO. Tilted Towers is the latest casualty, and while we still miss the iconic POI, there are still some remnants of the location still there. If we're lucky, perhaps we're going to see Tilted Towers restored during the next season, or perhaps this is once again the end for Tilted Towers. Until, uh, well, I don't know, maybe we'll go back in time, or maybe we'll get some kind of pocket dimension events. Who knows? Tilted has always been at the edge of destruction and somehow it always comes back. So don't be surprised if we see it again in the future. But you're going to me where you at. Your motivation guy is back. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let us know what you would be most interested in learning more about. You know, we love to hear from you guys. Remember, POIs have come and gone. And if you've been around for a few seasons, you know it's all part of keeping things fresh. Hey, so enjoy them while you can because you never know. Your favorite drop spot might be next on the list to get absolutely destroyed. Connect with my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.